Awesome people from Instinct London sent me this travel photography backpack to test it out. So I did. And in this video, I don't want to look at every pocket it has. I want to test it outdoors and show you who is this bag for, what fits in, especially for photographers, and how good is the build quality and comfort. Nevertheless, it is worth mentioning that this is the most thoughtful backpack I have ever seen. It has so many smart pockets, zippers and just awesome little things that make you think how no one else thought of this. In general, the backpack is just one big open space and then it comes with these in cubes, making it modular so you can really build it how you need it. Most bags are just for photography gear and for nothing else. But Instinct Backpack is actually more of a traveler's backpack with the ability to carry some photography gear in it safely and securely. So this bag is for someone who needs to do more than just photography, be it a hiking trip, a weekend trip to some city where you need to drive or fly to, or even if you don't want to take your camera with you, you can use this backpack for whatever, even gym. Besides that, there are plenty of ways for you to wear or carry it. You can put it on top of the luggage, carry it by this uh, side handle or do as I'm doing by opening this smart cover and rolling it up, you can wear it as a backpack. On top of that, having many small pockets and even USB charger integrated, you don't need to take it off to access things inside every time. Very convenient. The bag is really spacious and as I said, it comes with the ink cubes. If you do not put any in cubes, you will just have one big compartment where to throw in clothes or whatever you want. But with these in cubes, you can organize your stuff much better, like put all your cables, chargers and batteries in this electronics in cube, passports, cards, SD cards in this RFID safe pouch, your stinky clothes in this guy, and of course your toothbrush also needs to go somewhere. But for us photographers, what matters the most is what can we fit in this in-cube, the most important of them all, the photography in-cube. Well, you can actually reorganize it as you want with these dividers, but let me tell you, it definitely fits more than the user's manual says so, or what I expected. In the first setup, which is also my favorite, you can put all your essential things. On the left side, I easily put in my Sony a6000 with the 85mm prime lens. In the middle section, I put DJI Mavic Air 2, which is not the smallest drone, with this big remote. And the right side compartment easily can carry two decently big lenses, like for example Sony Zeiss 16-35mm and another lens. Also, can you throw in the drone's battery on top of the camera? Yes, but it would be best to have it in a little pouch so uh, as not to scratch anything. Drone hover does poke out a tiny bit, but it's not a problem at all. It's easy to close the bag and the gear is secure. If you don't have or don't want to take the drone, you can replace the middle compartment with something else, like two additional lenses, another camera with the lens or even some audio gear. There is plenty of space and options to take all you need and adjust the bag based on your wishes. To access your gear, you place the in-cube in the backpack so it can be easily accessible through this quick door. Or you can even take it as a separate bag with this strap. I must admit that I did not expect such high level build quality and comfort. The straps are very comfy and well padded. I loaded this bag with really heavy stuff to test it out and it felt very good to carry things around. I especially love these pads for the bag as they are extremely comfy. The bag is rainproof and all of the zippers are well sealed. The only thing I wish uh, if the zippers could open and close more smoothly. If the bag is not heavy enough, you will need two hands to fully open and close the zippers but I get it, it's because of the weather sealing and extra theft protection, like for this laptop compartment. Um, by the way, the laptop and tablet compartment is super nicely hidden and well padded. Also, on the top there is this uh, little protected sort of triangle for your phone, sunglasses or other fragile things. 
All in all, I must say that the guys from Instinct have really spent a lot of time thinking through every single detail and they haven't cut any corners in quality, ease of use or choice of materials. Well, please let me know if you have any questions regarding this bag and I will make sure to answer them all. I'll see you next video very soon.